Hello and welcome to our country kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. You look ravishing as usual. Mr. Farmer, you look very handsome today. Well, thank you for lying. Okay. Now, as we look around, we see our ingredients before us. And the thing is, earlier today, we're on our way to France. That's right. In recipe land. Mm -hmm. We had this, had this wonderful white wine, crème fraîche reduction. Mm -hmm. And we went for a walk in the woods. Went for a walk around the farm. It was nice today. It was nice. We saw the cows. That's right. We saw our little donkey, mm -hmm. and we saw the sheep, we saw the dogs. Then we went to the woods, I, I thought, what kind of mushrooms might be out there? We searched for a while. We searched for a while, we did a wide That's sweep, right. and guess whose eagle eye caught it? Um, the first time ever, you always find them. That's true. I'm shocked that I found something. We found a chicken of the woods. Now, Mrs. Farmer, I wanna break this for you. I want you to smell this. All right. Now tell me that's not one of the best smelling mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love them. Now this is a little past its prime, but I don't mind that. That's one of my favorite mushrooms. Now, everybody loves morels in the spring, right. but I sure like my chicken of the woods. Now, with the mushrooms, please know your mushrooms. Mm -hmm. If you're a kid and you're wondering about it, make sure you have somebody with you that knows your mushrooms. We right. can't be responsible for your knowledge of mushrooms. Look it up, learn, talk to somebody who really knows their mushroom. Right. Now, we have before us some rabbit. My favorite. You love, love rabbit. rabbit. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. We got a fairly in-depth recipe tonight, but it's worth the wait. Oh yeah. All right, so all I'm gonna do, Mrs. Farmer, is put some olive oil in here. Mm -hmm. Get that nice and hot. All right, we're simply gonna take some of our tallow cherry pepper. Mrs. Farmer, I'm gonna let you do that. All right, let's coat them up. Let's put a little bit of or as much as you would like, and we love Lots. our pepper. A little bit of salt to taste. I think we're good there. Flip them over. Flip them over, let's do the same on the bottom. Now tonight we're gonna make some fettuccine. Homemade fettuccine. Rabbit. Yum. Right. Homemade. When we say we're gonna make it, we're actually gonna make it. Mm -hmm. This is a simple little machine right here. We're gonna show you how to make your own pasta. I'm talking 25 bucks. Yeah. They're very inexpensive. They are. And the recipe is so easy. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to make. We're gonna make our own pasta. Once you've made your own pasta. I wanna do that all the time. You That's won't right. wanna buy it. That's right. All right, let's see where we're at here on the meat here. Oh, Ooh, we have this. Sounds good. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put the legs in and we're gonna, we're gonna save that loin for later. Okay. I have plans for it. I'm just gonna brown this up. We're not gonna completely cook it. We don't wanna cook it all the way through. That's not good right That's now. not good? Yeah. Because we're gonna put this in the oven and okay. let it cook for about an hour and a half, along with some stock and some other things. Mm -hmm. And some veggies. You're really gonna like this, Mrs. Farmer. I'm sure I will. I love rabbit. So we set our rabbit aside over here. Okay. Now we're gonna melt some butter, Mrs. Farmer. Okay. And we're gonna start some onions. And I would say, let's go, oh, let's do that whole onion, Mrs. Farmer. Right. Fingernail size pieces, diced, All right. if you will. That'll do, Mrs. Farmer. Want those in? Drop those in. You know what, this is really one of the most important parts of this recipe, you gotta have your onion. How many great recipes start out with onion and butter? Can Every you one. Think, think about it. <laughs> Every recipe. And we're gonna do the same with those carrots. We're gonna cut those up into smaller pieces. We're gonna cook these down for about 10 minutes. That'll probably do, Ms. Farmer. I'll do it. You want those in too? Mm -hmm, if you will. Now we're just gonna simply saute these down until they start to soften up and our onions become translucent. Okay. You like where I'm going, Mrs. Farmer? I do, so far. It smells good. Now, in just a minute, the next step of this, Mrs. Farmer, I'm going to take a Madeira wine, which is made in a Portuguese island. It's fortified. It's aged with heat. Hmm. And it's sweet. It's got a unique I taste. I took a sip. I took a little now, bit of taste. You could use uh, a dry sherry if you wanted, but I think a Madeira wine, and this is just... There's five specific grapes that they use in that. And this is about where we want to be right here, Mrs. Farmer. All right. So you want me to stir while you pour? You can. All right. And I'm going to come in with my Madeira wine. Okay. Mmm, that smells good. Doesn't it smell good? It smells really good. All right, I'm going to add a cup of Chardonnay to that as well. Now, I'm going to cook that down. We're going to reduce that by a little over half. Got a good smell. And you know what happens when that reduces? Oh, man. Now, our buddy John Casper up the road, we did a show with him. He raises rabbits. That's right. Now, rabbits have been domesticated for thousands of years mm -hmm. now. Centuries ago, the European rabbit was introduced to Italy, mm -hmm. and that's when they started domesticating rabbits, or so they say. Now, you think about wild rabbit. 
It's low in fat, mm -hmm. easily digestible. And delicious. And delicious. And delicious. And a lot of folks who have heart problems, this is recommended for them. Hmm. And it's considered a white meat, domesticated rabbit is. Right. All right, once that it reduces just a little bit more. Ms. Farmer, I'm gonna have you pull off some of these okay. little thyme leaves, if you will. We wanna reduce this by over half. You know what? I'd say it's about good, Ms. Farmer. Let's take about, good. let's say a little over a teaspoon. Let's okay. just drop it in there. We're gonna take a couple bay leaves, drop that in. That's reduced sufficiently, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me. Now we're going to come back with our chicken stock. Whenever you cook some chicken, keep the stock. Keep the stock. I'm going to say like two cups. That. That's two cups. All right. Now I'm going to come That's back good. with a little more Taylor cherry pepper. What we're going to do is we're going to take our rabbit legs, all four of them. He had all okay. four of his legs. We're going to set these right over here. As this comes up to a simmer in just a moment, we're going to pour that over top of that. We're gonna pop it in the oven for an hour, hour and 15 minutes or okay. so, until that we know that that meat is done, it's gonna come off the bone. Oh, do you smell that? I cannot wait, that's that amazing. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Remember Miss Helen? Mm-hmm. Remember how she made her fried apple pie? She was good at it. Oh, she, no, I'm not that good at it, but what she did, she made a little volcano, I'm gonna call it. I remember that. She made her little indentation. If you will, Mrs. Farmer, if you'll beat those eggs for me. I'll do it. Beat them up. You got two eggs, right? Show them those balls. Two eggs. Two eggs. Now, this is just enough pasta for you and I mm -hmm. for a small dish. If you're gonna have four people over, just double it. This is a cup and a half of regular self-rising flour. That's right. And we're gonna take just a little bit of that egg and we're gonna fold that in a little bit of time. We have a quarter of a cup of room temperature water over here as well. I'm just gonna kind of fold it in a little, a little bit, bit at a time, just, just a little bit. Oh, there we go. And we're just gonna work that in. Remember her, how she did that? She did really good. Just a little bit at a time. You're doing good. So we're just gonna keep bringing that in and bringing that in. And here in a minute, Ms. Farmer, if you wanna dump a little bit more of that in. All right, ready? Yep. There we go. See what we're doing here? I do. I'm doing good, Ms. Farmer? You're doing really good. Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. Have you ever seen me be so patient, Mrs. Farmer? Yes, with food, you are. <laughs> Sometimes you're really patient. Wait, I would have my head been all over the kitchen for me already. Now see where we're going yeah. here? It's starting to look like dough. We're bringing that in, bringing it in. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Fold it in. Fold when are you going to use your hands? In just a minute. Right. It's about time, isn't it? It is. We need to get in there and I just can't put knock it, it up. Anymore. Hey, Hang Farmer. it around. I'm take the watch take off. Take the watch off, roll the sleeve up. I'm going to get after it. All right, you're ready. All right, so at this point, and I'm going to keep a little bit of flour dry on the outside so I can work this. All right. Good. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to set it in a little dish, we're going to cover it. Here's your dish. With a little plastic wrap or paper towel. And we're going to let this set about a half hour. All right. Then you're going to start on a dessert, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. I like desserts that are a little bit sweet, and then a little bit not sweet. That's right. Got some salty to it. Man. I'm gonna make a mess, is that okay? No, I don't care, right. look what I just did. You didn't make a mess, wait till you see mine. All right. That looks perfect, you're done. I'll is it beautiful? It's very make beautiful. Make you happy? Very happy. Ta-da! Good job. I'll set this aside. Shake my hand. Now we'll wash your hand. <laughs> this next recipe. Where were we? We were looking through some, some antiques that somebody had, and we, we found right. a book from the 70s. Oh, yeah. It was a publication from a cigarette ad, mm -hmm. and it had something like, like this, and I said, Nikki, please remember this. Yeah. And you did. I did. You made Pretty close. Change it a little changes. bit. Yeah. But tonight we're going to have a dessert. Mm -hmm. We're going to have our desserts every now and then. <laughs> so what do we even call this? I don't know. What should we call it? You're good at naming things. It's got lemon. It's got nuts. What do you think? You, when you bite into it, you get the sweet on top. Mm -hmm and you get the nuts, and you get a little bit of that lemon mm -hmm. flavor, and then you get the sweetness, but the bread has kind of oh, a... Nice. Uh, I know. A well, not sweet. Let's call it a bar. Let's we're call making it a, the bread right now. So it is got a little bit of sugar. It's got some It's a unique ingredients in it. So what do you want to call it? Lemon nut bar. Okay, perfect. I love it. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> and here's what we're gonna... I'm gonna kind of do like you, but I'm not mm -hmm. as... I'm not gonna be as slow and do all that. <laughs> but I'm gonna make me this, my little... My little hole in the Did middle. You just call me slow. Well, I mean, not slow. I'm methodical. Methodical. I'm not as methodical. How's that? I'm gonna yeah. take that. 
that's two cups of flour. Gotcha. Three tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mm -hmm. be bad tonight. So a unique thing in this recipe is I have boiled three eggs. I know that sounds really weird, doesn't it? And we don't want the whole egg. We just want the middle part of the egg. So mm. we want the yolks that are cooked. Interesting. I don't know, we're just gonna smash those up in there. And I need three of those. Now I'm gonna take one lemon and I'm gonna need the juice for the mixture that goes mm -hmm. on top. But I'm gonna zest it, put some zest in here. Probably almost this whole lemon. It gives a nice lemon flavor. You like lemon, right? Mm -hmm. I like these bars. Right. I ate a bunch of them. They're yes, really, really good. All right, a teaspoon and a half of salt and I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. you know how I am. I like your measuring method. That's my measuring. There we go. All right. And two regular eggs. Gotcha. And then over there, if you want to pour that in, I have a whole stick and a half of butter. I've let the soft, whole butter in? Yeah, just dump yeah, that in. I like where you're going. This is my, whoops. I'll just get all, see, I'm going to get messy. This is room temperature. All right. And I'm going to try to do like you for a minute. There, am I like Miss Helen? Kind of fold it in. Am I like Miss Helen? Kind of like Miss Helen, but yeah. not quite. But you got to get all this butter. And you want your butter room temperature because we want to bring this all together. So this is your dough. This is this my dough. This is your base layer. This is the base layer mm -hmm. that we're going to cook first. Well, see, I really am getting messy. You are getting messy. <laughs> you want to put some flour on your hands? That's all right. It's, I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to help. All right. See what I got here? So you're just doing all in the bowl. So you're being yes. neater than I was. Yes. And I'm keeping it in the bowl here. And what I'm going to do is let this get a, Some people put it on. You can put it on wax paper and roll it out. But I'm just mm -hmm. going to put this in the fridge for a while. Let it sit in the fridge just while I make my topping and mm -hmm. set that aside. And then we'll go back to all your dinner. Is that cool. okay? So I'm going to clean my hands if you want to throw that in the fridge because I'm, I'm right. bad. I'll do it. Thank you. This pasta machine makes a good hand rest. Yes, it does. You just it's clamp it right on. Perfect good for enough. you. Don't get your All fingers right, in. Let's get started here, Ms. Farmer. I want some of this stuff. This is really unique, too, actually. This yeah. is something I, that, that I hadn't done before. But we're going to take a lemon, and I want about a tablespoon of this juice. It looks like a tablespoon to me. But this is one cup of sugar. Okay. And if you get, sugar? Yes, if you'll get the burner going for me, I'm going to stir the sugar in this lemon until my sugar turns brown. You're going to brown that sugar. I'm going to brown it up. Caramelize it. Now look at this little mushroom sitting here all by himself. Now he's been sitting a little while. Some of the color's gone out of him, but he's still edible. Mm -hmm. That is a chicken of the woods. Now many, many times if you're walking through the woods and you're near some oak trees that might have a wound in them, right. or you find an oak tree that has fallen over, a lot of times you'll find these near oak trees. The one that we found here today that you saw with that eagle eye. I did. Under an oak tree. Imagine that. We don't know why, but that's where I look. We were very fortunate to find that today. I'm, that's the first time I've ever found one. I was really excited. Oh, I see what you're doing. See what's happening here? Well. I'm going to turn it down a little because it's getting there. So there you go. Quarter that's, cup of cream now, gotcha. heavy whipping cream. All right. We're going to add that in. A little stick of butter. got to have butter. Mm. You know why that Our tastes good. Our sweet tooth will be quenched tonight. So now we just want to get this butter melted down and all this together in here. And that's your t that's your topping. Almost over the, got a okay. couple things to add. We're getting close. All right. You want to stir that for me while I chop some nuts? I can do that. And I've got pecans and I got almonds in here, and I'm gonna try. I think I have about a cup and a half of nuts. Is what I'm gonna. Have. It's looking pretty good. We got some little pieces, some big pieces. Is it caramel or caramel? I don't know. Is what it is, is it? it? I don't know. I'm I say caramel. I say caramel. 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 Okay. And that's looking good, so if you will keep stirring for me. And that, that's what now? That's this is about a cup and a half of nuts, and I put pecans and almonds pecans together. Pecans and almonds. Okay. And you can do what you want, but that's what we like. It just makes, and, it's stay, and it stays loose. It's going to stay loose for us. Okay. And I'm going to put in probably a teaspoon, maybe a little more of vanilla. All right. Now that I'm going to turn off. And you just set it aside. We're going to let it set aside, and we're going to go ahead and pull our dough out and get that cooking. Do you reheat it before you? We are going to heat it up a little bit before, before you before, put yes. it back in. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. All right, I pulled this back out. This has been in the fridge for like an, a half hour. Gotcha. And some people put it in, like I said, wax paper, or whatever. I just like to, I'm just going to push it down in here. We're just going to flatten it down. You put a little oil in your pan. I did, I put oil in the pan. This is where having two ovens comes in mighty handy. Yes, it does. And I flatten that with my hands, but you could put it in wax paper and roll mm -hmm. it and make it, but I think it's pretty even. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. And we are going to stick that in the oven at 350, 350 for 45 minutes. All right. Let me open that door for you, Mr. That's Paul. just the start of our dessert. All right, let's release this from its cage. And I hope it comes out okay, Mrs. Farmer. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna take this out and just work it a little bit. Can you put me a little flour on the side here? Mm -hmm. Let's 
just get a little flour out here and I'm going to start to work this. I'm going to cut it in half. And what I'm going to do with this machine is I'm going to put it on the lowest setting in the first round. And we're going to roll it through here okay. several times until it gets to be working properly. Now, if you see the little cracks on your bread, you're going to have to put some flour in it. All right, now we have a handle here. It goes for each stage of the game. Now see how that comes out? We're going to lay this down here and we'll put a little flour on it. Then we're going to the fold flour. it back over okay. on itself. Then we're going to run it back through. We want this to be springy when it comes through here, when it comes out. Looking good. So now I'm going to set it up. I'm going to go up to another setting. I'm going to keep making it thinner and thinner. Each setting on here widens this or narrows it. The higher the number, the more it flattens it out. See where we're going, Mrs. Yeah, you really did that. Isn't that time. nice? Yeah. So let's put a little bit more flour on here. And let's put it back through. That was set on four. And I have found for my fettuccine, I want it to be on about a six out of nine settings here. Let's pop that in here, Mrs. Farmer. We're going to narrow this right. up. And we'll get to about this point right here. We're not cracking. Everything looks good. Look at, look at that. Good. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to put a little bit of flour on each side, Mrs. Farmer. So we're going to cut this in half, and that's about as long as I need for a noodle, don't you think, perfect. Mrs. Farmer? Perfect. Right, perfect. All right, now I'm going to bring this through here, Mrs. Farmer. Okay. I'm going to take my handle out. I'm going to pop in here. This is on the fettuccine setting, and it's going to roll it through here. Look how that cuts. Rolls right on out, Mrs. Farmer. Now you want that flour on there. Boom. So simple. So simple. That's too easy. So beautiful. We got noodles. So wonderful. And again, it depends on how thick you want your noodles. And I like mine a little bit thick. Now we're going to finish this right here, the dough that we have, just enough for one serving right. for us. There's nothing better than fresh Oh my goodness, pasta. look at these. It's just ridiculous. What do you think? Lovely? I'm excited. I'm hungry. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to check my rabbit because it's been a little over an hour. I'm going to see if it's fallen off the bone. If it is, we're going to set it up. Okay. Here comes the rabbit. Oh, do you smell wow. that? Do you smell that? Amazing. That's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Brown around the edges. It's gone 45 minutes. All right. And you're going to heat this back I'm up for me. Heat back up. All right. Turn it off. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's fine. It's, and we're just going to put this, this is hot still because it's already been cooking. See how it's just sliding around on there? Mm -hmm. We're going to put this on top. That's beautiful. All right, it's cooked 45 minutes on the bottom, and now we're going to put it in for another 15 minutes. Turn it off and let it cool. 50. Keep it on the same temperature, and then we're right. going to another 15 minutes. 15 it's minutes. done. We'll let it cool. Thank All you. Right. Beautiful. So the next step is to take my rabbit out and set it aside. It smells pretty good. All right, now, Mrs. Farmer, if you will, will you help me strain Carefully the braising liquid off of that very carefully? All those flavors. Wow. Oh, oh that it smells good. Smells so and I'm starving. I'm ready. So at this point, we're further reducing this down. Okay. Now, meanwhile, our poor little mushroom is sitting there all by himself. Yes, he, he is. He looks so lonely. We're going to clean him up just a little bit, make sure there's no bugs. Do you have any preference, bugs or no bugs? I like bugs. You okay with the bugs? I'm okay a little, with little bugs. extra protein? Yes. I'm just going to take this and, and break it down. And again, this is a little past its prime, mm -hmm. but that doesn't bother me. We're going to eat it anyway. All right, let's take some butter. How much? That much? That's good right there. And some olive oil. Let's get that melted. Okay, we're going to drop our mushrooms. Now again, some people may say, oh, those are too far gone. I've eaten them like this many times before, and I refuse to waste them. That's a treat right yes, there. Yes. Now, Mrs. Farmer, while mm -hmm. I'm doing this, if you will, see if it's cool enough yet. Can you take that rabbit off the bone? Yes, I can. Now, Mrs. Farmer, mm -hmm. as we cook these mushrooms up, these chicken of the woods, what does it look like in this skillet? Chicken. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It looks like chicken. And you know what? Some people even say it kind of tastes like it. Huh. So look what we've got here. Is that not beautiful? That looks wonderful. It's a good meat substitute. I'm going to push my mushrooms aside and we'll drop those shallots right there in the middle. Let's get, let's get turned over a little bit with some butter. 
All right, so the next step, Nikki, is to drop our beautiful pasta in. I'm starting to do that. We have pre-salted water. You put as much salt as you want your pasta to have in it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some mushrooms, some rabbit, our fettuccine. Mrs. Farmer, we're ready to drain our pasta. Am I ready? Pasta. I will excited? do it. I am actually very. All right. Okay, so what are we gonna do now, Mrs. I'm very Farmer? excited. I don't know. butter? I like that. Would butter hurt? No. Our pasta? I don't think it would. We're gonna melt a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna take our Parmesan cheese. I like that. We're gonna melt that in there with our yeah. butter, Mrs. Farmer. That would be good, wouldn't it? This has been worth waiting for. Good. You think? Yes. Now, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and take our bite-sized pieces of rabbit. You wanna knock those in? Those. Yep, drop those in there. And then we're gonna put some mushrooms in there. We're just gonna come in here and add some mushrooms. Ooh, how many? Our chicken of the woods. I'd say most of them. Let's I get say these smaller pieces. Then we're gonna come back with our reduction. I'm gonna take a little bit of that basil and oregano and put in there. Can I try? I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything? everything in one bite. Try to get the mushroom and the pasta and, the... and a little bit of rabbit. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Are you kidding me? Mm. It's delicious. Just step outside normality. We're tired. Right. Just throw some stuff in. Make it yourself. Make some pasta yourself. There's nothing like those noodles. They're delicious. And it's so simple, so delicious. And your dessert, can we just skip to that real quick? We can. Go Here's ahead, what they look like. Now look from the side. <laughs> they are see amazing. That beautiful little thing. They're nice. They're firm. What do you think? They mm. might. Aren't they good? Oh, that's heaven. Mm. I forgot to mention, we saw the sheep. We saw the dogs. But we didn't see Holly. Holly girl. That's Kelly's baby. I love she won't her. have anything to do with anybody but her. She loves Kelly. And Maybell is doing well. We'll probably have another cab with her next mm -hmm. year. That being said, Miss Farmer, are you too tired to eat or you no. think you're going to be able to do this? I'm ready for you to turn the cameras off so you let me eat. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> check out our Facebook page, check us out on YouTube, and our website, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Farmer, Ooh. it's all about good times, good friends, and wow, really good eats. Thank you so much. It was much. worth the wait, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Give me a high five. High five. I'm finding the good mushroom. Job. Good job. Good job. All right, let's, let's eat. eat. To order a cookbook, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com.